wise young man once said, to fully appreciate where we are, it is often important to reflect on where we have been. This is my story. The story of Bashiroth. My story begins with me, young and dumb, completely oblivious to how lucky I was to have my love, Hana, within arm's reach. I proposed to her, you know, and she said yes. We were young and in love, the picture of what life should be. In each other's arms, there was nothing, nothing we needed but each other. I swore on my life that I would do anything to protect her, anything she needed. I would be there for her. One day she comes to me, saying thieves stole an ancient family heirloom. I didn't know of any heirlooms, but I didn't hesitate. I marched right out that door, and I found those thieves, walked right up to them, fearless, empowered by my love and her love for me. I demanded the heirloom be returned to me at once, and they attacked me. At first I ran, shocked, unsure if I would survive the encounter. Then I realized I was fighting for my love. With that in mind, nothing could stop me. I quickly dispatched of the thieves, filthy mongrels. Every one of them deserves to die. Get shit on. After dispatching of the mongrels, I walked over to them. Something shimmering upon their body. I searched their packs, and then I found it. The most beautiful piece of metalwork I had ever seen in my entire life. As soon as it met with my hand, I knew my destiny. To become the greatest warrior Azeroth had ever seen. I returned home. Hana already knew what I must do. So, I set off into a strange but beautiful land, filled with the most exotic warriors I'd ever seen. All of them unique in both their armaments and their talents. Perhaps I should have felt out of place, but I distinctly remember feeling right at home. As I wandered, searching out a place to fulfill my destiny, a place to train my body, sharpen my mind. I found exactly the place I was looking for. Oh, and it was a beautiful sight to behold. As I entered the grotto, and the temple opened up before me, I was awestruck. This, this is the place I was looking for. This is the place I would fulfill my destiny. I immediately fell into rank, eager to begin my training. At first, I was a little off time, but soon, I got the hang of it. A natural born warrior, my master told me. <laughs> and the funny thing was, I believed him. With every fiber of my being, I believed him. That I would fight for good, protect those I cared about. So every day, I trained. Trained to exhaustion. But every time I thought about giving up, simultaneously, I held in my mind the picture of my wife and my soon-to-be-born daughter. I trained for them. I trained to create a world in which they could live freely, safely. And with that purity of heart and righteousness of purpose, I became the warrior I sought to be, fully equipped to dispatch of any threats to myself, my world, or my family. With every strike, I solidified my promise to protect those I care about. The funny thing about promises, however, is that sometimes, despite all your training, despite all your best intentions, you are powerless. But I didn't know that then. Or at least I didn't want to. And so, on the final day in the dojo, the temple where I became the warrior I always wanted to be, my master whispered in my ear, never lose sight of the things that make you who you are. Although you can't control your environment, you can control your response to it. Know this, Bejiroth, you are strong, inside and out. You've got the heart of a warrior, care for it well. And I did. I returned my heart to whom it belonged, and we were so happy together once again. 
until the King Kong, eager to hear of my training and exploits in the faraway land. But during this meeting, the traitor Samuelson showed his true form. The demonic creature that burst from his flesh was like nothing I'd ever seen before. Luckily my training had prepared me for such combat, dispatched him with ease. However, due to my prowess in battle, the king commanded me to go to war. I was to be a lone warrior, sent to destroy the demonic threats to our kingdom. Although it broke my heart, I knew I must go. The safety of my wife and child demanded it! How was I to know that the very thing I did to protect them Walked away. How can I just walk away? How was I supposed to know? That would be the last time I ever saw them. How can I just walk away? But I did. I did what I was supposed to do. I flew into the farthest reaches of our universe, doing exactly as I promised. Hunting down and slaying any threats to my world or my family. In the back of my mind, every close call I knew that they were there, waiting for me, relying on me to defend them from what I thought I was supposed to defend them from. With all of my rage, I fought and I killed each and every one of them, ensuring that there would be none left to pose a threat to me, my world, or my family ever again. The purity of purpose, I called it. Since when has killing been a pure thing? Taking a life is a sick, vile action that men shouldn't have the power to do, and surely shouldn't be ordered to. I wanted to be a warrior to defend those I loved. This isn't defense. This is murder! But then again, that fateful mission taught me a lot about the world. And this isn't the beautiful, pure place I'd imagine. This is a hellhole. Designed to break the spirits of good and decent men. Placed between committing the greatest sin or failing to defend your loved ones. Kill or be killed. And I chose to kill. And I was damn good at it. None could stand in my way. And I realized this face to face with the Grand Demon himself, the leader of the Netherworld, Morgroron. Not even he could stand up to my blade and my rage. I slew the Grand Demon, and with him dead at my feet, my bloodlust was not sated. I would kill every last demon in the Netherworld if it meant protecting my family, and so I did, hacking through them like reeds, blood flowing like rivers. I would never be satisfied until every last one of them lie dead and bloodied at my feet. I thought what I was doing was the right thing to do. I thought it would mean something. But war, my friend. War is purposeless. It's only the perpetuation of a cycle of violence that tears at the very soul of a man. No matter who wins, no one gets out unscathed. No one gets out undamaged. And although I thought I had defended those I loved, I was only a cog in the wheel of fate. A subject to its cruel machinations. And when I returned home, eager for the embrace of my love and my daughter, I found a silence and a stillness that pierced my heart worse than any blade ever could. I marched to the king's quarters and demanded to know where my family was. Where are they? He wouldn't even look at me to tell me they were gone. 
When I was off fighting his war, they were killed on his watch. I could never forgive him for what happened. And I certainly couldn't forgive myself. I ran from there, knowing I would never swear allegiance to that man again. He sends me to some godforsaken place to drown my soul in blood to protect the one thing I care about. What is a man? Would you rip out his heart? What's left? When you tear a man's sole purpose away from him, nothing. And so I fell. Memories of the man I used to be flashing before my eyes, reliving my worst and darkest moments, step by step, deteriorating. But then, remembering who I used to be. Farewell, old friend. You did your best. And you farewell, my love. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. I'm so sorry. But in that dark gold water, that terrible, soundless place, I was transformed. A husk of a man, as empty of the dark abyss I found myself in. I was transformed. What once was love and hope was filled with rage and hate. A frigid, insatiable hunger for vengeance propelled me upward. A vengeance for those responsible for the deaths of my wife and my child. When I surfaced, I saw the most beautiful and horrific sight. Life once again. Haunted by all the memories I had from a man I no longer was, I flew upwards into the starry night. And here we find ourselves today, roaming the land, seeking out all responsible for my loss. I now am a warrior, not who fights for decency and love, but who thirsts for nothing but blood and death. A wretched being, cursed with immortality, propelled by nothing but rage and hate. For those who took from me that which made me whole. The betrayal and injustice I have suffered, the agony of my loss, will be felt by everyone I encounter. My cold vengeance will be tasted by every member of the demonic horde that I hold responsible for the death of my family. Oh, killing me won't be that easy! I will hunt and haunt you forever! You see, I'm no longer the Bajiroth you once knew. I am Bajiroth the Death Knight!